What is it about Power Rangers that seems to keep it living on from generation to generation? Why do people all around the world seem to love and connect with the show the way they do? Oh, I don't. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Uh, I, I think it's um, it's Austin St. John, <laughs> and because he's an amazing guy, and, and Ashley and David Yost, they they made the difference in the show. Just made the show. <laughs> so amazing. We'll pay him later. Right. No, I think you know it was dinosaurs. It was dinosaurs. It was gymnastics. It was martial arts. It was a diverse group of kids together as a friends, like really close friends, yeah. that were overcoming the evils of the world and helping to bring goodness about. Yeah. I think Karen summed it up real well. Yeah. It, it was rated G with extra cheese. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, everybody, you know, all were teenagers with attitude, you know, and so yeah. I think all kids at some point in their life wanted to be a superhero, and this was the show that actually showed some kids being a superhero. So it was like our, our greatest dream was fulfilled. Following on from that, um, obviously the film's just been, been out. The, well, what did you think of that when you seeing it? If Rita, if if that had been my Rita, <laughs> it wouldn't have been green with evil, it would have been red with evil. Because I would have converted. I would have been the bad guy if that had been my Rita. Yeah. So, Elizabeth Banks killed it. She was awesome. Yeah. She was hot. Yeah. They were all awesome. It was such a good movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was amazing, and uh, they did a really good job. Special effects were insane. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you could go back and talk to yourselves back then when you were making that show and you had like all you know, the knowledge that you had up until now, what would you tell yourselves? How long would I have? Uh, <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah. Woo. That's a hard one. Yeah. I mean, I would just say, uh, just as a, from an actor standpoint, just to believe more in myself. You know, you get into the industry and you start working and sometimes you start doubting yourself because you're confused, but uh, also I would really want to make sure that my younger self understood to enjoy the ride, because it, we shot the stardom and shot the fame so quickly once it started airing, and there was so much going on, and it's hard to take it all in, and suddenly you have action figures of yourself, and you're on posters, and people are carrying your picture around at school, and there's stickers, you know, and all the toys, the millions of toys that have been made, uh, I just really would have uh, wanted myself to just really try to understand that more and enjoy it more because it's so awesome and humbling for us here we are 20 years later and to look back on all that we've been through uh, as a cast and stuff and growing together it's pretty awesome yeah I think I just would have told myself to have a little more patience slow down just slow down yeah stop and smell the roses he's right it just like went so fast and um, I, I would have I would have liked to have had a moment to just kind of take it all in you know um, but yeah, it was it was great. So. Yeah, I think I would have told myself, buy <clears throat> uh, <some> some property. <laughs> <laughs> Steal the helmet. Yeah, good. <laughs> Steal your communicator. <laughs> get your suit. Get take your, take your suit. Props. And your helmet. And, take and go to like Toys R Us every week and buy the toys. They'll be worth a lot yeah. later. And, and that <laughs> night, you, and that night that you go to the Roxbury. Don't put her phone number in your back pocket. You're gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't do that? Back in the day when you used to write your numbers on the yeah, text. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When it wasn't like just text, text me. Text Can you airdrop me your number? Yeah, yeah. it was like Can you buzz me, give me my pager. <laughs> <laughs> give me up on Instagram. I'm not gonna give you my number. That was a while ago, right? Yeah. Because it was yeah, crazy. Um, how do you work as a team so well in when you're doing the set? That's so cool. You know, I think it takes Good a bit question. of trust. A trust in uh, in your friends, a trust in your team, and uh, a bit of faith in the people that you've chosen as friends and that have chosen you. And I think through that, you uh, you you can sit down with a bit more ease, even in tough situations, and really develop a sense of unity and direction. So when did you sneak in here, little she, one? She's my mini reporter. Yeah. She's basically, yeah. That she's was a great sister. job. That was an yeah. excellent question. She's excellent amazing. Question. That was yeah. pretty awesome. That's why she's wearing Wonder Woman. I yeah. know, right? Go team. Yeah. <laughs> Got another one here. Oh, yes. Another one here. So cute. How was it like to be a Power Ranger? It was amazing. It was, um, for me, it was really cool because I was a girl and a female superhero, and I got to save the day just as much as these guys did, so it was awesome. And I got to meet a lot of good friends, like literally all of our, our Power Ranger friends, people that were in our cast, people that weren't the ones who have come after, we're all family. So it's like I have a whole set of friends that instantly when we see each other, we just want to hang out, get a drink, have dinner, you know, so it's really cool.
Good question. I guess at the moment, with the success of the new film <coughs> and the fact that the original series are now all on Netflix, are you finding that there's a new generation of younger fans who are discovering you guys for the first time? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's the oddest thing to have three generations of fans at this point. I mean, I really do feel like we kind of catapulted into the icon phase. Like, I mean, the fact that we have comic books with Marvel heroes like Superman and Batman, and it's like we're in print now with the people that we've grown up with as legends and heroes. You know, like Superman is one of my biggest idols, and there's a comic book with me talking to Superman. I'm like, <coughs> I'm talking to Superman. <laughs> it's crazy, you know. So um, I got Wonder Woman. Oh, you love it. Aquaman, cy <laughs> Cyborg, everybody. So it's um, it's pretty incredible. Um, we get people to come to our table, and you don't know who to talk to because there's little kids, right? And the little kids are like we, we gravitate to them right away. But then you look at the parents, and the parents are actually the ones that are like, like, oh my God. You try, not, you try not to burst out of their skin. Yeah, they They're really like, grew up with us. They the play. autographs for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, my bad. And then their parents will be there. Yeah, their so, parents. Yeah, you know, I'm still with them. Three yeah. generations, and it's... Uh, I mean, I'm only 24, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 24 for life. There you go. Um, the new movie being kind of a lot darker than... The original. What was your the original? What was your reaction to seeing sort of the interpretation of the modern Power Rangers compared to, as you say, the rated G with cheese? I, I was I was really happy with what they did with the characters. I thought they really brought them into 2017, and they're really taking on issues like the character of Billy uh, being on the spectrum, as they say, you know, dealing with autism and. It's alluded that the Yellow Ranger is questioning her sexuality and all that. So I, I like that they're sort of putting it out there for kind of an or, older audience and really kind of, and there's still a diverse, ethnically diverse group of kids coming together. So um, I was really blown away and I'm really happy with the way that it's gone and I hope a sequel happens. Me too. Yeah. I think it's the natural progression of things too. I mean, if you go back and look at the, the original Batman and Robin, pow, bang, boom. And today we have the Dark Knight. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, next year, when they do the next 10 sequels, because it's not going to be in 20 years, because I'm not going to age that much, um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited to see where it is then. Did you ever see the short film that went? Of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. I, I mean, I just thought it was cool. I mean, obviously it wasn't Power Rangers, because I feel like, you know, it was a, a little violent, but... I mean, we're all grown up. So for all of us that have grown up um, with the show, it, it's awesome to see. But, you know, again, you know, I, I'd never thought about it, but these guys brought it up. They were like, well, you know, that's, you know, they have kids, you know, and that would be tough for a kid to see. So I really liked the, the new movie because I felt like it rode the, you know, really rode the line nicely with taking it to the future, but also keeping it so that your kids could go see it, you know? Yeah. It needs to stay there. So I liked it. Uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the original series, you faced a huge variety of villains and so on. What were your favorite villain villains that you've mm. come across? There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds. Like, yeah. Like, mi like minions, like the like yeah. guy, big guys in the rubber suits. The putties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the putties were the unsung heroes of the entire exactly. first Hilarious. 200 episodes. They never give up. Yeah. Yeah. They never They're get like credit, coaches. but man, <laughs> we beat the snot out of those guys like, yeah, regularly. all day long. So I, for me, it would have been Goldar because I fought him like it was my job. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I would say like I got that was really cool because it was like a monster full of eyes. Pudgy Pig was kind of neat because he ate all the rangers. Um, and then, you know, there, there's so many interesting ones like we fought a lipstick. We fought a purse. We fought a purse. Like everything, <laughs> anything that could turn into a monster it turned into a monster. Yeah. Soccer ball. A pachinko machine. Soccer yeah, ball. Soccer ball. Crazy. So like, how did that go with the table? You know, they're sitting there, and you're like, guys, we got to come up with another monster. And the last person in was late. She drops her purse on, and somebody goes, I got it. <laughs> and it was a big, big purse. <laughs> yeah. That craziness kind of coming from Japan. Did you guys ever watch the original, the original, original for mm -hmm. research? Not until later. Yeah. yeah. It was shown to us later. Like, this is what it's coming from. Because Hans Sabana bought the show in Japan, bought the Japan show. And we, I don't think we even knew what it was going to be. I had no idea nope. what it was going to look like until after I saw the pilot. And I was like, oh, 
oh, that's the heroes. Okay, that's what we're, okay. Now I get it. Oh, we're superheroes. <laughs> but, yeah, originally from the scripts, I think we had no idea what it was going to be like. No, and our show is completely different, obviously, yeah. than the Japanese one. The Japanese is a lot darker, bloodier, and scarier. People died in that one. Yeah, people die in that, mm. so. Uh, people die. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And wasn't the, the Green, Green Ranger? Ranger. Yeah, he, Red yeah. Ranger brothers or something like that. Yeah, he originally yeah. died. That's why they did the whole depowering thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's so interesting. <laughs> yes. um, in terms of like the schedule, because there, there's been loads of rumors about what the schedule was like. You know, uh, Jason David <laughs> Frank talked about it, how grueling it was. Um, how did you guys cope with that? Because it's, you know, as an actor myself, it must have been daunting to go through something like that. When we were teenagers with mm. attitude. <laughs> in theory. Yeah. It was yeah, it was long. I mean, it was like the the longest day. Like you would just you'd go to work, it was dark, you'd go home, it was dark. Yeah. And we just worked and luckily for us, we all got along, you know, um and we just put in the work, but yeah, it was it was um a, it was like a soap. Like we back then the show came on every day. So, yeah. I mean, it wasn't anything for us to do four episodes, five episodes every two weeks. Like it, that was kind of yeah. the schedule. And when we got on the show, we were a little behind schedule, and I mean, it was just crazy. But I think it's like the good, the bad, the ugly. Like literally, everything I've worked on since has been easy. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, we're gonna work on a show for a whole week? That's nothing, you know? So it breaks you in. Yep. I think obviously fans have their favorite bits of trivia, little details about the show. I think one of the ones that went viral and people really enjoyed was finding out that um, Brian Cranston lent his voice to a number of the right. memorable monsters. Do you guys have? bits of trivia like that or little things that you, you like to wheel out when you're talking to hardcore fans about the show? I think uh, in the beginning, I, a lot of people, I mean, when Dave and, and Walt and I auditioned, the show was originally, I mean, it was advertised in an LA newspaper, so it was an open casting call, and I mean, half a million starving actors in Hollywood, I don't have to tell you how many showed up for the auditions, but the show was originally called Phantoms in the audition, and my character was originally called Victor. So it felt like a soap opera to me, you know, <laughs> as the rangers turn, you know. They seem to cut step roles. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, uh, just, I mean, I think the fans give us more trivia than we even are, than we even know. Like, people always ask us questions, I'm like, really that? Or tell us stuff, and I'm like, really that happened? Yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. They know way more than we do. They know more than we do, so they tell us the trivia as opposed to us having any real trivia, other than like in the early stages of how it was going like when back we, when we were young when we were young but yeah the original pilot that we filmed was so different than really what aired because uh, yeah. in the original pilot like when we morph it's like our face and then our face turns into a dinosaur it looked you know all these weird horrible stuff. watch that i've never seen it oh it's, it's ugly it's ugly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's we'll have a feeling party yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did any of you guys ever get your own action figures and come looking and go, oh my god, there's an action figure of me? Yeah, when we, uh, when we first got the, the ones where our, our heads actually turn and I, yeah, it, it didn't really look like, like me too much, but I knew it was supposed to be. <laughs> I was like, that's me, <coughs> but with a square face, okay. And, but I took it home and I was like looking at him like, it's morphin' time. <laughs> it's morphin' time. <laughs> I just kept doing it all day. I was like, hey, that's so cool, you know. Um, when I, before the show came out, I was walking through Venice Beach and some kids ran up on me and this, we had done the pilot, we hadn't really done the show, the show hadn't come out yet, um, but some kids ran up on me and like, you're the Black Ranger. I'm like, yeah, how do, you, how do you know? And they were like, I just bought your toy yesterday and your face is on the box. Oh I'm my like, God. I have a toy? And I'm like, yeah. And they are like, that my face is on the box? Out. Yeah, I was like. I was talking to my cousin, like, I got a toy, my face is on the box. <laughs> I feel so cool. Yeah, I was like, that's. Wow, all right. This is going to be a different experience. Yeah. Do you still have that figure? One I do. Do you? I do. Nice. I have That's, them all. It's pretty crazy how many uh, action figures have come out now. And yeah. like we have yeah. all these tons of pops them. now and all these little loyal subjects. And there's so many versions. Adorbs. So, Adorbs. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's pretty uh, awesome and humbling to have so many things. And fans give them to us as well. So I have a yeah. whole like shelf in my house just full of everything that you could possibly think of. You can get tired of looking at yourself. Yes. <laughs> I think obviously in the rush to embrace that excitement, your face has ended up on a lot of different products, a lot of different yeah. things. Um, do you have any particular favorites in terms of the weirder stuff, the weirder tie-ins, or like I mean, you say you've got a pretty big collection. Is there anything you look at and think, 
why did they do that? Oh, there's so many Every things. Day. Jelly beans. The jelly beans. Popcorn. Popcorn, bath soap. Bar uh, soap, yeah, I remember there was, that. There, I came across these things that you put on your tennis shoes, like you hook them onto your shoelaces, oh. and they're just like Power Rangers that hook onto your tennis shoes. I'm like, why would somebody do that? <laughs> I saw it. But they bought it. Yeah. I saw it on a Twinkie once, and I remember having the thought, that Twinkie might be the only thing on earth that outlasts the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's a great pairing right there. Yes. <laughs> Twinkies are good, though. They, they are good. Did you get to keep anything from the show? I didn't. I should have. If you stole it, you kept something. <laughs> I was honest, and I wish I would have known it was steal something day, because I would have taken all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did steal. <laughs> David. Uh, I can't believe it. But it was because of Jason David Frank. He, <laughs> blame told, he blamed me. I mean, he told me to. But no, <laughs> when we were filming the movie in Australia on our final day of filming, uh, Jason, Amy, and I had a flight in New York. And so we filmed, and then they drove us straight to the airport, whatever. And Jason's just like, just take your ninja outfit and just put it in your suitcase. They'll never, they'll never catch you because we're going straight to the airport. So I did take it, and I, I still have that hanging up in my house. Otherwise, we did not get anything. No. Uh, no party. They, they locked it all up and <laughs> didn't share too much with us. It's yeah. sitting in Heim's personal closet somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. When do you happen to have the, uh, the neon sign from Ernie's Juice Mario? Yeah, yeah. didn't have that, right? When did you all realize, I mean, yourself, you were talking about the action figure. Mm -hmm. When was it that you, you yourselves realized that you were really onto something really big? <laughs> that it was going to be this phenomenon that, that captured the imagination of children all over the world. Mm -hmm. When was it for you personally that you realized this? I think for uh, the original cast, uh, when we went in Los Angeles, we did a show at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Uh, and we were only scheduled to go in the morning and do one show. In a smaller theater. In a very small theater. Uh, but within an hour or two, like uh, we had sold out Universal Studios and we had created a massive traffic jam in Los Angeles where we shut down the freeway and they say 10 miles in each direction. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, just shut down Universal Studios and to cause that kind of a traffic jam in the United States. So uh, that's sort of when we started in our head going, oh wow, this is bigger than we can <laughs> comprehend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who and knew it, so? Go ahead. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's back when, I mean, Tom Brokaw was still on the air. And I can remember seeing, I think we got a clip of it later. Yeah, nightly news. Yeah. And National I, news. I was watching it and they were like, so, you know, blah, 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 Nancy Kerrigan. And what could beat that story? Well, the Power Rangers. And, like, <laughs> and here we go. And there's aerial shots of the highway jammed into downtown. We broke universal attendance records. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're the only show to do it. Yep. Wow. And uh, went from one show to six. Seven. From the seven? Was yep. it seven? From the smallest theater to the biggest one they had. Mm -hmm. And I remember at some point they had toy stands, I think, that sold out. And people were pissed. Shh. They were upset. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and uh, I, I heard stories about, you know, there being fights that broke out over it. And I was like, now, parents, that's not a very good example. Yeah. But... Good job. <laughs> so how did you feel when you actually got home and shut that door? Did you literally just go, oh my it, word, what's just happened? It was such a surreal day, I'm sure, for all of us. Because yeah. I'm sure, as Walter and Austin will tell you, like when we went out on the stage, it's like that was the first time we ever got to experience what it's like to be a, a rock star. Because star. Star, yeah. like, all the flashes are going, and you hear little kids just like, Screaming for us, like yeah. it was crazy. He Changing dons the power of the Mastodon. He is Zach, the Black Ranger. <sighs> <laughs> so, whoa, did you feel that? I mean, we the were, building was vibrating. We were literally shaking. It was like <laughs> after you, the energy was so intense, it was like you felt it in your whole body, and you were like, that was crazy. We, I think we came off stage and we were looking at each other like, did you feel that? Did you? <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, you I mean, know? we did it seven times, and I think each time the theater holds like five or six thousand people, so it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Um, before you auditioned for the um, show, what did you want to be when you were younger? That's a good question. I've always wanted to be an actress. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think if I wouldn't have been, I probably wanted to be, I wanted to go to school to be a filmmaker. So I was actually, uh, just got accepted into college and I was going to go to film school and I went to an audition and four days later I was a Power Ranger. So. <laughs> Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Very fun. I always wanted to be an actor too, since I was seven. So. Yeah. I wanted to be Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. You pretty much did that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on version. the beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I, uh, I always wanted to be an actor as well. I got to a school performing arts and obtained a degree in musical theater. 
be a fan. And, um, <laughs> and so I've, I've been working already as a singer and dancer and an actor, um, but I was doing a lot of dancing. And then when this came up, I was I had gotten off cruise ships, got an agent, and you know, Power Rangers came and was like, I got a TV show, I'm excited. You know? Thank you. Um, if you could play a different Power Ranger, which color would you pick and why? I'd be the black. Yeah. I want, that's who I am. <laughs> I would do it again. I would do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't think any of us yeah. could imagine changing the character that we actually played or would want to even yeah. go there because I think for all of us, like our characters are so close to our hearts and the colors and everything. Like I, for me, I feel like I ended it up exactly where I was supposed to be and I played the character that I was supposed to play and it was such an awesome experience in so many ways that I don't want to think about, oh, if I could be this person or that person. So I'm happy yeah. with Billy. Not many people. Go. Not many people, um, I, I think, have the, uh, the incredible fortune that, that we have and not fortune as in monetary but fortune as in 40 countries 90 languages around the world we can go anywhere and we can spend all day talking to people and all we hear about is how much they love our work yeah. that doesn't suck <laughs> so it's a great job to be able to, <laughs> to imagine doing it any other way when there's I mean almost no criticism ever Grown men break down into tears and <laughs> snot on the shoulders, and you know, grown women doing the same thing. I mean, it maybe being Santa Claus, I don't know, but yeah. I mean, I just I can't imagine how it gets better than that. Yeah. yeah, people always ask us like, "Do you meet weird fans?" And I go, "No, we're in the good news business. Like every person that walks up to our table turns five years old again." So it's like, I mean, it's like we just hear all these amazing stories, and we I think now we stop and we're having a chance to smell the roses because now we realize what it meant to all of you and how it changed your life, you know, because we were living our dream becoming actors, but you didn't ever think that, you know, 24 years later, here we'd be in London talking about Power Rangers, I and mean, that's pretty cool. And now you guys awesome vocalize life. it. I mean, like, yeah. before it was like, you were kids and you were shy, and it was like, hey, little boy, and you're like, I can't see him, he's too late. Or they start crying. <laughs> but now, but now you're, you're adults, and you come in and you tell us these stories about how we improved your life in some way. You made me want to be a martial artist, you made me want to, Join the military. You made me to a scientist. You made me become a dance instructor. You made me desire to be more than what I was. I mean, to hear that from you guys is amazing. 